Hello everyone, welcome back to Drive Your Logic. So today I am back with division, okay? I have not done any video on division. Today I'm going to show you divisions properties, okay? So divisions, basically there are no properties. You have to understand few basic things. So I'm going to discuss those things only. First of all, you're dividing four with eight and you're getting four into two is eight and answer remainder is zero. So here, this four is called divisor. That is D-I-V-I-S-O-R. Divisor, this is called the dividend. This is called the quotient. And this is called the remainder. And in a very easy way, you can check your answer, whether you have done any mistake or not. How? There is one short formula for that. So what is that formula? Dividend equals to divisor into question, that is this into this. divisor into question, whatever answer you get, you just add with the remainder. So in this way, you can easily check it, your answer is correct or not. So for this, uh, for this example, if I want to check, so what is my dividend? Dividend is eight, divisor is 4, 4 into 2 plus 0. You have to see both the sides are equal or not. Yes, it's equal. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 plus 0 is equals to 8. Yes, these are equal. That means your answer is correct. 4, 2, 8, 6, 1. Big 1. Big dividend, correct? You have to divide with 11. Now, the trick I'm telling you, be careful of that trick. What is that? Here we have two digits number. Correct? So now there are divisions or short tricks are there. Lots of short tricks are there. But then in school exams, you can't use those short tricks. Correct? And you will not get that time also to recheck by that short trick of this long division. So the correct process of learning this way, just you have to see the digits. So this is two digits. Here is also two digits we can take. Now suppose this is smaller. Suppose 11 is there and here it is less than 11. That time you have to take three digits. But now we can take these two digits. Now you have to understand with what number I have to multiply. Will I write the full table? No need. Just see this one, last one, and this one, last one. It's four, it's one. So with what you can multiply, it will come near to four. Now you can say, ma'am, four into one, four. No. Then you have to check that four into one, if you take four, so it will be 44. So you are near, near to this, okay? That means if it is not correct, that means the before number you can check. Three into one, three into one, that is 33. So you will take with three. So that is 33. Subtract this one. What is your answer? Nine. Now bring this down, 98. Now you see this number and this number, 9. So you will say 9 into 9, 11 into 9, no. See, 11 into 9, if you do it, it will be 99 more. So you take the before number, okay? You take the before number. So with 8, if you take, yes. So if I take with 8, your answer will be 88. Now you just subtract it, 0, 1. Bring the next number, 6. Now you see the last digit again. So this is 10. Why I'm taking 10? Because I have to take the double digit. No, one, one, I can't take it because it is three digit number. It is two digit number, correct? So I have to take two digit. Now you think it is 10, it's 11. It is 11, it is 10. That means it is near to 110. That means if you multiply with 10, 11 into 10, your answer will be 110. That you can't take. That means near to this means 11 into 9. Yes, 99. Correct? 
So what will be your answer? Seven, okay? Now bring this one down. Seven and here it is one. So don't take seven. If you take seven, 77, take the before number. I hope you are understanding why I'm taking the before number. So if you don't take 66, suppose 11, and this one is seven. If you are taking this one, 77, you can't work with that. So you have to take 66, correct? So 71 minus 66, your answer is five. So very easy process in this way you can do, okay? So this is your answer. And this way you have to do long, long divisions. So I will show you one more example. So let's start and I'll take with a big number. 88 into 17292. Now here you see two digits are there, but here you have to take three digits. Why? Because two digits, if you take, it is smaller than 88, correct? So we can't take that. Now 17, if you take it, now we have to see the last digit and this two digit. So with what you multiply eight, so that the last digit comes near to this digit comes. So if you do it two, check 16 is coming, right? So it is coming near. So let us check with 88 into 2. 16, carry 1. 16, 17. No, it's not coming. It is coming more than that. So what do we have to do? We have to take the before number of 2. That is 1. So 88 into 1 is 88. Now you do, do the subtraction. And bring this 9 down. Now you take 84 is here and with what you can multiply the last digit so that it will come near to 84. 9 and 8 so that the last digit comes. But 84 is not there in 8's table. 81 is there. So 9 with 9 if you multiply it will come. So first we have to recheck it. 88 into 9. How much is that? 88 into 9. That is 792. 792. Yes, we can use that. 792. Subtract this 792. So, what you will get? Fifty seven. Bring this two down. Five seven two. Now fifty seven. Near to this is what? With what? If you multiply eight. You will get near to 57, 6. So let's try with 6. What it is coming? 5, 2, 8. Yes, 5, 2, 8 is smaller. So we can take this number. So with 6, we can take this number. So what will be our answer? 12 minus 8 is Forty-four. So that's your answer. Yes, you can put point and put a zero. So 44 is here. Near to this is what? We can bring 5 with 5. If you multiply, see it will come near to 40. So 44. So what will be our answer? 88 into 5. 88 into 5 is how much? 88 into 5 is 440. You. Correct? So our answer is done. Zero, zero, zero. So you can put a five here. So this is our question 196.5 and remainder is zero. Our divisor is 88 and 172. So whenever you get this type of question, division, long division, how much bigger? Doesn't matter. You just check the last digit of the divisor as well as the dividend. Now dividend, if it is smaller, then it is, you have to take one more extra digit and you take two digits and check it. So in this way, you can do it any long, long sums, but then be careful of the subtraction. Don't make any mistake while doing the subtraction. So that's all for today.